This weekend, you have the opportunity to learn more about robotics and surgery. It's just one of the topics that will be discussed at the TEDx Jacksonville Conference, which is happening on Saturday at the Florida Theater. Dr. Hussein Abbas is the chief of general surgery at Memorial Hospital. He'll be explaining more about robotics and surgery in just a minute. He's joined by Carol Grimes, who is a TEDx Jacksonville speaker coach. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thanks, These are such wonderful opportunities, I think, for members of the public to learn more about really interesting things that people are talking about across the country. Right. And so one of those is robotics and surgery, which is your specialty. Can you explain a little bit? I know we have a, a picture of the Da Vinci machine itself. Correct. Can you explain a little bit about what you do in terms of using the robotic, the robot, yes, robot? Absolutely. So that was a whole goal, as, as, as you said, is um, to try and get the public almost like trying to put in my shoe and have them walk through my theater and get to understand what this robot does, you know, because every time I say something to a patient, you know, I see a lot of exclamation marks and then what's going to happen? How does this robot actually function? What does it do? And so... Yeah, and are you actually going to be there? Or are you just going to tell exactly. this robot what to do? That makes me a little nervous, maybe. <laughs> that is correct. And the next thing I hear is, how about these driverless cars, you know, getting into accidents on their own? So are you going to be awake? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, uh, unfortunately, the, the, the reality is not that science fictional yet. <laughs> <laughs> so the surgeon is complete control of that robot. So essentially it's what's called a master and slave technology. And what that means is the surgeon is completely taking control of the robot. So even though I have the robot docked to the patient, I am controlling it. Every move I make, the robot simply reciprocates that move. And then when I stop, it stops. And if I decide to make a move, it will not actually resist. <laughs> so, but what it does allow me to do is making small incisions, yet performing the same very complex procedures that we do on sicker patients. You know, nowadays I do a lot of morbid obesity um, surgery. So on more obese patients, that will have significant problems if I were to make it the old fashioned ways, as in make big incisions. You know, wound complications is one of the major problems we have. So this is really the benefit is, is being able, to, this robot is able to go in and make a smaller incision. Correct. and As opposed to opening up a Correct. larger area of the body and putting Absolutely. You know, all the equipment in. Yes, this translates into much faster recovery and far less need for opioids. So for example, repairing inguinal hernias, no matter how large they are, the patients only go home on Tylenol and ibuprofen. I've never had a patient ask for narcotics after performing this procedure robotically. And, it, and, and that is because you have to make a larger incision Correct. and the pain is really associated Correct. with the healing of that Correct. and not necessarily the procedure itself. Correct, absolutely. And it's also got to do every time you make a big incision, you're exposing the internal organs to the outside world, which they don't like. And mm -hmm. so it stuns the bowel. So doing it this way, it means I can get into a two inch space and perform very complex pr procedures. At the same time, what the robot does is it actually also extends my vision. It's three dimensional vision. It also has added benefits. So something called fluorescence, what I do is I inject a patient with a dye. And when I flip the light on, I can see structures that you and I cannot see because we don't pick up that, you know, that infrared um, reflection. So of it's what. really enhancing then Absolutely. your ability as a surgeon, Absolutely. you know, bariatrics and others. Right. Let me bring Carol into the discussion if I can. Carol, this is obviously one of many topics, uh, of course, yes. robotics and surgery. There's other technology that is also, you have expert speakers who are coming in. Can you tell us a little bit about what other topics will be discussed? Oh, they're so interesting. And, and one of the other medical topics is going to be a young woman from Mayo who is going to talk about stem cells and it's fascinating what these stem cells are doing. Um, so that's going to be one. But we, we cover so many different things that are really current topics, like incarceration issues, especially for women. One of our speakers will highlight that. Jeff Sheffield is going to talk about how Jacksonville is becoming a smart city. Who knew? So Jeff has, like Hussein, Jeff has all kinds of slides to show us what he's talking about. The slides are going to be projected up. We have uh, Joy Young, the new director of the Cultural Council, talking about the impact of art on our culture and how important it is. Literacy, all kinds of really interesting things. And for those who are interested then in attending, uh, attending on Saturday, ticket information. Tickets are still available, but they are flying out the door. Um, People can go to TEDxJacksonville.com and right there they'll see our theme pop, which I like to think of as pop your bubble. Learn something <laughs> right. new, meet some new people. Um, so they can go there and get their tickets. Student tickets are $30, I think. Um, adult tickets are $99. 
and it is a full day of information, entertainment, networking. It's the best and brightest people in Jackson. Sounds fantastic. Great way for you to just learn more about what's going in, not on, what's going on not only in our area, but also across the country. Doctor, thank you for being thank here. You. Carol, always good to see you. Appreciate it. Again, it goes on uh, Saturday, Florida Theater from 11 until 530 in the afternoon.